Hi, it's Dr. Jen, and welcome back to Celebrity Review. So Courtney Cox has been one of our most asked for celebrities to review, so let's do it. So I talk about this all the time when people start to look like animals. And you can see Courtney, she looks so gorgeous over here, but she's looking cat-like over here, and it's not her fault. Again, I wanna just reiterate that this is, I'm not trying to come down on the person, this is the doctors and the injectors who are recommending this and doing this to people and telling them that that's what they need when that's not what they need. So maybe they're in the wrong profession, maybe they're just trying to push sales, either way, that's, we don't do that to patients. So let's take a look at Courtney's face. So I'm gonna start at the top and go down. So you can see here, and this happens actually with aging. You can see her forehead is really nice here. Over here, her forehead actually looks longer. So as we age, we, our hairline can recess and our, our forehead look, can look longer, especially after having children. It's very common for women to have a longer looking forehead. Angelina Jolie is a great example of that. And so there's not really a way to combat that. There is when you do Botox or toxin, not to hit the upper part of the frontalis because that will actually make your forehead look even longer. So that's one way cosmetically that we can do that. But that's a time where you would talk to your hairstylist about doing like a side swoop or something with your hair to actually have, have your forehead look shorter. So she does have a longer looking forehead in this after picture. Going down her face, so here her medial brow on, on, this, on her before picture is actually lifted and in her after picture her medial brow is dropped. Now that can be a, an aging thing where your medial brow drops. That can also be something due to toxin when people go too deep when they hit the, these muscles here, uh, these corrugator muscles, they go too deep, they hit the frontalis and the medial brow drops. Now, if that's an anatomical thing and not a, due to Botox, we can actually lift it with toxin by going in, like I'll show over here because it's easier, going in right here with toxin and it will lift up this medial brow. So in her after picture, her brow, her medial brow needs to be lifted. But the biggest thing on Courtney is that, see here in her before picture, she has her under eye and her nose, you have very distinct, like her nose ends and then her cheek starts. Her eye ends and her, then her cheek starts down here. In her after picture, what they've done with filler is that her nose, it, her nose and her cheek are going into one. And that's giving that very distinct filler look. It's like blunting this angle right here where you want the nose to end and the cheek to start. But here it's like one swoop. Another thing in her after picture is they did an under eye filler in the trough. See, it's like a baby trough right there. She needs like a little drop. If not, I mean, I would say she doesn't need anything, but if you, you'd put like a drop right there. They put too much eye filler here in the trough, see right here? And what happens when you put too much filler there, first of all, it's just too much. It's placed incorrectly, but you have a ligament right here. It's called the ligament of youth. You don't want to block it out or people look fake. If you look at kids, you'll actually see a, a like a, what some would say is a trough, but it's actually called the ligament of youth, and it's completely blocked out here. And what not only is it not blocked out, the filler has grabbed onto it, and it's creating this just like long tube right here. So the the under eye filler here, along with this cheek, actually looks. She has a good cheek over here. It doesn't look like she's had this cheek filler, but a lot of people would say cheek filler because of the under eye tear trough filler and this angle from the nose to the cheek is blunted. That's This right here is what gives that lion-like appearance. And then you can see that that with her smiling carries down into the lower part of her face right here. See here, it's, it's not as distinct. And this actually makes it look like she's gained weight. See, her, her face looks much whiter and here it looks much thinner, even though her body size probably is the same, but it, make, it gives the appearance of a, like that she's gained weight and looks like a filler face. Her lips and her chin look totally fine, maybe a little bit bigger here, but that's hard to tell if this is a filler or if it's be, just because her overall face looks larger. Um, again, Courtney, this is not your fault. This is whoever's injecting your, your face's fault. They should not have recommended this or performed this on you. And the way to get rid of this, you guys, as I said, is to lift the medial brow, and you can do that with tox, 
cut the hair just so it kind of hides that the forehead, her forehead's longer. And this is all dissolve, 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 and start over. Thank you guys so much for watching Celebrity Review and comment below on who you want to see next.